Media TV, World Star Hit Radio. Radio. And we have a very, very, very special guest. And y'all know I'm very, 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 very hyped because I met very, 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 very hyped a few months ago. And um, <laughs> his vision is something that I needed y'all to hear about. So I'm very excited to have him here. We have Mr. Wesley Henderson, aka Wes Henderson. Woo! Oh my God! So Wes, first of all, thank you for coming to Q in the streets. It's a it's an honor and a pleasure to have you. First of all, I have to say that I have been a viewer of yours for many, 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 many. Yes. I've been doing it that long. You've <laughs> been doing it that long. And what a lot of people don't know about Wes is Wes has actually been in the game for a long time and you've got your hand in a lot of different pots. So let's, for the people who don't know, I know your people know here, but for the viewers here, mm -hmm. for everybody who don't know exactly what you do, let's tell everybody, you know, what all you got going on. What I do now? Uh, majority of people know me from... Now we want to start from the beginning and work our way up. Because you okay. ain't just start here just... Well, I'm the first incredible. of many of what you see going on now. He really uh, is. I started the whole YouTube thing 2003-2004. Uh, and I was one of the first black uh, openly gay YouTubers to hit YouTube uh, before it became congested with what it is now. Um, and then is I just... Shade? No, it's oh, the okay. truth. He just said it's saturated. It, it is. <laughs> it, 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 overly. Yeah. Um, and then uh, I, from there, I just started doing blogs, and I created a character called Mona Simone, um, which is the first black male and person, a female and person, a character on YouTube as Why well. Why don't you see Mona as much anymore? Cause yeah. Mona was a lot. Yeah, Mona was a lot. <laughs> Mona was a lot. And Mona I'm a that. Uh, believe it or not, I'm a, I'm a I'm a regular guy, mm -hmm. and you know, putting on the wig and putting on the titties and. Shaving my mustache, and because now it's a lot of them just doing it and just mm -hmm. keeping all the mustache. Yeah. Like but I went full blown. I had the makeup yeah, the and all, all that around. shit, and it was just mm -hmm. a, it was a lot going on. Um, so it became it was very taxing. But she's hilarious. Yeah. And you know I get my inspiration from like watching Martin Lawrence, Shanae, and, and that was gonna be Wanda. my next question. So were you trying to follow in the not trying to like mimic or anything like that? Because you want to make it your own. I just wanted to be. The, the gay the gay uh, representation for comedy in that light because we had so many of but they were straight they were all right. straight mm -hmm. I mean so we thought uh, oh. you know <laughs> and, and in light they straight in the dark we don't know right. but yeah I just wanted to be that guy that questionable right that guy that people could be like oh this looks just like me or mm -hmm. I could do it too you know yeah. um, so is it safe to say you're a trendsetter almost or like you're just like that foundation that stepping stone to Make way for people oh, to do it today. That's so nice. That's so nice. Okay. But yes, he really is. Yeah. <laughs> Pat yourself yeah. on the back, toot that horn. Yeah, I mean, you know, because I I see a lot of people doing it now, and you know, people that don't remember when I used to do it. You see, and I, if I do a Mona video today, they'd be like, "Oh, you're copying this, or you're copying." No, no, no. I was no, the no, one. No, no, I, I started all of that. Um, and I so, used to watch it, and I, I used to watch when I was staying with my mom. So yeah. that was like a mm -hmm. long time ago. Yeah. When I tell you, people started in high school and now they yeah. grown with kids yeah. and they would see me and be like, oh my God, I remember when. But yeah, so now what I'm doing is AconnectionTV.com. I've always called Aconation TV a network when I was starting it on YouTube, but now it's actually a network on AconnectionTV.com and I produce, direct, act, write, edit a lot of original scripted content, uh, short films, features, web shows. So are you like the LGBT Tyler Perry, in a sense? I guess you could call me that kind of, but um, this year is the first, we've been doing it for a little over a year, but this year is the first time that we produced an actual LGBT show for the network. I didn't want to be typecast as just a gay guy doing gay content. So if you go to AConnectionTV.com, you'll find content for everyone. Well, I'm sorry. What, what's wrong with being the gay guy doing gay content? Because I feel like, well, I yeah. mean, I get that. But is that not what the black community does? Like you have certain you have certain directors, actors and stuff who do black content for black movies that get on BET and things of that nature. I just feel like I get what you're saying, you mm -hmm. don't want to be put in a box, but the box might be good. Not to say that you wouldn't get any exposure, but making a platform or a safe space for those following you. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like I wasn't a follower back in the day, but like 
something that opened my eye, and I'm a big fan of the show, Pose. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, that just is so, it's <laughs> what? I was just, she was, she was she on pose. I want to be on pose. I'm trying to sneak in the door the type of way. Whether she's a trans man. Yes. She's 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 a or a just a gay one. Something. Pose Maybe here. What pose house would you be in? What house I don't know. If, I mean, if I can pull off a little boy really cute, I might want to be in the house of Wintour. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, I feel like Blanca will accept me, though. <laughs> I feel like it's Blanca will accept me. Yes. Oh, she yes. always said you'll be in the bed. That's hot. But I do, but I what I was about to say is that I don't feel like the box is bad because I feel like that box is creating a different type of lane. I get what you're saying. You just don't want to be typecast and be like, oh, he's just this gay whatever. But I feel like if you keep feeding into it, it's going to explode on its own, you know? But I don't let it stop me from creating content that uh, my gay people can see. Because mm -hmm. um, The Mister is an awesome show that's on AconnectionTV.com. It's the first LGBT I love The show. Mister. Rico. I love Rico's character. Thank you. you. Yeah, Rico. Shout out to Rico. Shout out to Rico. Shout out to Rico. Rico. Do you, do, do you, okay, well, I want to add on before we move on. I love that you consider A Connection TV the black Netflix. Yes. I like yes. that. Yes, yes, because when I, when you tune into Netflix, you don't really see much of us. And if you see us, it's the stereotypical film. Yeah. In the hood, um, drug dealing, things of the sort, and so we got to change that. So what is your ultimate goal behind what is it? Because I know that you, you've given a lot of actors a kind of a, a kind of opened the door for a lot of people and they've grown on and flourished and but what is Wes's ultimate one? I don't really have an ultimate one because I want to do it all. So I can't really say that I just want this one thing. Um, but what I really would love to do and, and, and I guess I'm still kind of doing it is just allowing people that want to flex their talents in entertainment to be able to do that in whichever way that they can, whether it's writing uh, for the network, acting on the network, directing, producing, editing, that's what I want to do. So kind of like the Dave Tyler Perry view of the open Oh, actually the helpful open it. Okay. <laughs> you know, no, no, no. Um, wait, I just um, want to remind you that there is a list <laughs> and it is black. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, not going to go there, people. <laughs> so, yeah, not going to go there. What you were saying, Rainey, um, again, as I said, one of the things about Wes that I enjoyed was when I interviewed with him, he said that he wanted to, he was making a network where everybody can see themselves. And so they kept him in a box, but out of the box. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. it's like anybody can come into that box because there's something in that box for them. So that was one of the admirable things about A Connection TV because he wants to make sure that when you turn it on, there's something on there for you that you can identify with. You know what I'm saying? That because you want to be a trans man. And shout out to the tw trans community because we just had um, Danielle do um, a role where she's a trans woman, but she's playing uh, a female character on um, uh, High School Romance, which is a short film that I'm producing. And one of the reasons why I'm mentioning her is because I went to Mix and we did a radio session at Mix and one of uh, our trans women came up to me and was like, you know, you say that I can see me on A Connection TV, but I don't see any trans on A Connection TV. So what's going on with that? And so we had a long conversation and she read me my rights. Uh, and, and she was like, when you do put us on there, don't have us as sex workers, don't have us as you know, stereotypical roles. So shout out to Danielle for playing um, mm -hmm. uh, Miss Cherish Daniels on High School Romance today. Now, where can the people find A Connection TV? A Connection TV .com. It is online everywhere. On your phones, on your, on your laptops, on your desktops, A Connection TV .com. And the app will be coming out um, in 2020. And if there is a, what is your, you know, let us know the subscription and stuff? I was about to ask him to do the voice. Do the voice. What voice? That goes on at the, come on at the end. Uh -huh. Oh, Mona, Mona, so yeah. what's going on, y'all? How y'all doing out here? I'm Mona, I'm out back. Girl, TCC. <laughs> it's too much, it's too much. But no, um, subscription is only $7.99 a month. Oh, um, so it's, 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 it's cheaper than a McDonald's meal. Why do y'all get that so I can watch it? I have it. Oh, no, we want you to get on your own phone. Central. That's how I was getting. So look into this camera right, right here. Right. All you. Well, I won't just say it's black. Actually really wonderful. everybody. Everybody, because we have some Caucasians. Yes, we do. Everybody, make sure you are subscribed to aconnectiontv.com. We want to su su support 
anybody who's up and coming and you know just all that good good care though, because seven ninety nine a day y'all can support a, a radio host to a watch day. You know, a, day. a month a month I'm sorry <laughs> so well, feed me too <laughs> <laughs> so I also want to I know that you have the culture club yes and you throw out a lot of topics and you do a lot of heavy walking in mm -hmm. some heavy areas. So I want you to pull out a heavy little topic that you know that you discussed on your show, and I want you to throw it at us, and I want you to let us rumble a little bit. Um, do you think? Do you think that the black community um, supports the black community? No. Mm -hmm. No. Of course not. That's one of my big. Don't get me started. Let's start there. <laughs> but, so that was like the one of the last, the latest one that we did last week um, was controversial because. I'm, I'm speaking not only as a member of the black community, but as a member of the gay black community. So it's a whole nother situation going on. But we have. But is it though? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's I guess because for me and my career, I've never really had to deal with like rejection from like a you know certain crowd or anything like that or a certain like I've never had to be like. The gay black Q. I was just always that's a blessing. Black that's a blessing. <laughs> <laughs> that's so, a blessing. I guess for me, I really haven't had to, you know, deal with it that that way. But do you blessing. think it's different because you're masculine? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, It'll be yeah, different yeah, if you want to play boys yeah, because it's like we don't have to introduce you as the gay black Q if you can go on TV and no one knows without you saying right. I'm gay that you're gay. You right. know what I'm saying? Like you're right. easily to be molded. You know what I'm right. saying? Instead of you coming out being flamboyant and it's like oh you go to gay black Q. <laughs> 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 no, 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 right. The gay black. Well, I guess for me it's because I never, I never try to put on like a role. I never try to be masculine, and I, I've just always been cute, and I just allow my career to just kind of. You never be... felt the need to hide it. No. I if, yeah, you beg to differ. Yeah. yeah, with me. Yeah. I feel like I'm more myself now. Now. Well, I feel like. Okay. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. I guess being on a reality show, <laughs> it kind of just made too. me. Yeah. yeah. Like just being, being your truth. Like I've seen you from when we first got together to right now. You've always been cute, but now you're walking in your truth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because and at first you were. No, because at first you really were scared. You were like you didn't want to be depicted as that because you thought they were gonna mm -hmm. put you in a box. You oh, did. I guess. Well, okay. Well, I guess. Well, now, well, well, now I don't deal with it because in the beginning, I guess. We got it. Okay. No, we no, I guess when I think about it, I'm yeah, kind of like, okay, friends. good. <laughs> he, now that's shady. Yeah, I, I, I caught so it, but I'm not, not going to mess up with oh. interview. Okay, Wes, I'll throw another one at us. Oh, um, Jesus, what did we just talk about? Um, Supporting black, black people support. I got one I'll ask you guys, still piggybacking off um, what we were just talking about. Do you think being black and being gay gives you more rights than just a normal black person? Oh. Gosh, That's very as a heterosexual I person, I feel like it, but you only think? because I. This is why, because the gay community in your community, you have all races. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you have them that they can back to you and be like, "Oh, my gay community." In the black community, we just have the black community in which we turn against each other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so in my eyes, I feel like hypothetically, if I was to paint a picture, I feel like if I get pulled over. And I'm a black person. Yes, I'm nervous, but then if I show that I'm gay, it's like I'm not just going against black people. This is the LGBT problem, and they already no, raised hell. No, 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 well, I don't know about you that. Know that. Hey, 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 objectively, y'all have to understand she's on the outside looking in. Right. So yeah. that, that's how she sees it. Well, I guess yeah. for me, I guess okay. why, why following the Malik Yoba. Um, interview the other day all the women in the comments was working my nerves it like, was horrible oh it, it was, was like horrible. i was cringing i'm like y'all i mean I, I i get it but it is kind of like well i have to let people know that i'm a woman it's just kind of like yeah it was it was horrible. but then i have to tell lgbt people as well it's just you know what i'm saying yeah, we we need to we need to accept us first yeah Cause we don't Ooh, even. Oh, baby! When I tell you, I'm so tired of getting cussed out by the hell, LGBT we, community. Yeah, we, cause hell, it be like all the SIS, and I know I'm probably gonna get a little flat for this, cause I know these lies, right? I don't even. How the hell if I know? All of that stuff, I'm still learning because I'm a little ignorant. But you wanna know something? And that's, I'm so sorry. Go ahead. No, no, I was gonna say, did y'all watch Dave Chappelle's special? I did. Okay. I cut it off. It was, it wasn't funny. It was working. Were on you that. offended by no. what? Okay, well then that's good. Did you get to the LGBT part? Yeah. Okay, and you didn't like that part. 
Because I, 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 I try to separate comedy versus, you know, trying to take it personal, right? But at the same time, whether it was, it just wasn't funny, period. I just, think, funny. I think what he said about the separate, because you just mentioned that we have to fix our group within our, the, and the alphabet people have to fix the alphabet people. <laughs> it's the G's, the L's, the B's, and the T's are all the doing A's. their own, right, all doing their own little thing. And I think he hit the nail on the coffin when he was talking about it, because it was so accurate how gays, some, most gays, don't like to be around women and lesbians and then the bisexuals are looked at like yeah. they're confused and all that. He was he was speaking the truth. Yeah. I just think that all black people just need to come together and, right. and if we did that Wakanda forever, we'd be unstoppable. But yeah. we have so many vices within all ourselves that it just yeah. becomes problematic. You know what makes me mad? Because I'm a very inquisitive person. I hate when I ask questions. And you get attacked. And, and I get attacked because I don't know. But within the LGBT community, since I'm on the outside of it, people get defensive. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, so I have to rely on my friends to be like, hey, can I say this? Can I ask yeah. that? Because as soon as I ask a question, why do you care? Why do you want to know? Well, God damn it, I'm trying to understand. <laughs> right. well, I'm trying to right. understand. I'm on the inside and I still be asking questions. I'll be like, hey, friend, before, before you take offense to this, I have a question. Yeah. I, I do too. But they will accept you because they're like, oh, let me no, tell you. No, no. Did you did you not see that they chewed me out at the reunion? Q oh. the homophobia, uh, not homophobia, Q's transphobia. I'm like, I had a question, ho. Yes. Tell me something. Yes. Y'all got to be doing that. Y'all are dancing. No, it's doing. because they, like when, when you, these subjects get very right. so it's intense. Right. Because they, because it's just like us as black people. When someone says something that's outside of our race, we're quick to call them racist. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with the LGBT community. You it's say something and now you homophobic. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. And it's like, God, leave. Like, I want to be on your side. I legit, since I moved to Atlanta, I think I got but, more okay. gay friends okay. than I got straight let, friends. Let, let me give you a, a little insight just from living life. What has happened is a lot of gays are uh, angry yeah. and they don't even understand that they're angry. So when things like that happen, they lash out. Mm. And they not even knowing that they're they're coming off as the way that they are. Argumentative. So they, right. They're they're not trying to be combative, but they're just angry and they're angry from suppression. But how do we move forward? How do we move forward if, if everything that comes out of your mouth is you want to fight and you want to be argumentative and combative? How can we just all sit down and say, hey, let's first of all, we need to run down our own guideline because we don't know we just LGBT or we LGBTQI. Like, we need to figure all that stuff out first before we want the world to accept us. <laughs> I say do away with all the damn letters, honestly. Yeah, I, it's too much for me. Hey, I like this guy, okay? <laughs> because I hate when people are like, I don't do labels, but I'm an LGBT trans, da da da. And I'm like, label, label, label. label. <laughs> <laughs> label. See, because, but when I say it, I'm, you know, homophobic. Be, because, but you can say every label, and it's like, that's who I am. And I'm like, Right. Because Malik Yoba's interview, did you watch the interview? I did. It was so confusing. It was. It confused me with Breakfast Club. Yeah. They had two other trans, they was like, well, I'm not a trans woman, I'm trans experience. What that mean? What? What does that even mean? So, all I can tell y'all that something that's all of is disrespect people for women. So we're not, that's the only way you Yeah. <laughs> just let me know your pronoun. Yeah, let me just know let me know your pronoun. Your pronoun. Let me know and then we'll go from here. Yeah, yeah it's, it's too much. It's too much. I want to be all. <laughs> so we don't want to make this a whole regular. LGBT conversation <laughs> topic. So Wes, how do you, how do you deal with, I mean not deal with, but when it comes to writing, and when it comes to, you know, digging into these different characters, are these characters you're dig digging from your family, past experiences, or you just wanted them good writers, you know? I'll write what I know, and mm -hmm. I start there, and then I expand on that. And go over here, or I go over there, and just try to make it extreme. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll write what I know. Okay. It's, it's the easiest way for me to do that, I feel. But there are some writers that can just pull stuff out their ass and just make it work. Can I ask a personal question and feel free to turn it down? <laughs> oh. It's not really bad. Okay. But being in 2019, we know that uh, marijuana is legal in a couple of states. Do you ever find yourself really creative or have you ever smoked to get a it, idea? The, that, like, takes me out of everything uh -huh. and I can't function. I just, I smoked yesterday. And I was, I've been telling myself that I'm not going to smoke because I like my headspace where it's at. Yeah. I smoked yesterday and I woke up and I just had a bad mood. I just didn't feel like dealing with anybody. 
I was just annoyed at everything, yeah. and I just laid in the bed. It makes me very lazy yeah, it does. and not want to get out and, and make money. So, yeah. But you never see yourself being creative, and I don't know if it's that you be that you are like under the influence, but you're easily amused. You know what I'm saying? Or some of the ideas that come in your head, yeah, you be like this. I need to write this down. <laughs> I'll be like, I need to It's ready high now. <laughs> no, I am. Yeah. But, so, <clears throat> there is a way that people can actually uh, sign up if you just become writers, right? Yes. So oh, you accept, accept writers? It. Yes. Oh, that's we, nice. We started a writers club um, last month. Oh, and no. we meet um, two Sundays out of the month. Oh, that's so, dope. So, yeah, that's nah, been good. good. So, outside of business and work, I know for a long time, Wes was on a... Look at his lip quivering. What's going on? Are you about to talk about relationship stuff? Yes, you were on this quest <laughs> to love, and like you, you, you were documented, and you would, and I followed it for a long time, which was crazy because I remember when you first went on your date with your current. Uh huh. Okay, I want to make sure you guys put together. Uh -huh. And you were talking about you holding hands in public, and it was weird. Yeah, how you it being was, like a grown weird. man, how that was like a first time thing. Yeah. You were like, okay, is this like, why is he okay? holding my hand? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? And you guys went to the movies or something, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, it's It's been. Shout out to the booth. Yeah, shout out to the booth, Victor. It's been interesting. He's not name dropping. That's booth. That's baby. Yeah. That's baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's been interesting um, trying to figure out how a relationship works for me at my age, 38. Is that a ring on your finger? I have a lot of rings on my phone. No, on that left hand. <laughs> on, the, on the other. This, I'm not engaged. That is meaning something else. A promise ring? I guess you can kind of say that. Promise not to hurt you. Um, promise not to lie. But yeah, it's been, it's been interesting. I mean, living in Atlanta and, and dealing with, you know, the access, accessible people in Atlanta and then being in a relationship and then um, finding out our differences as we are in a relationship and finding out if our differences can come together and we can still maintain a relationship. And I'm a person that does not like to argue and if you are very argumentative, it's not going to work with me. I will walk away from you in an instant. I'm, I'm too old to be arguing about our different points of view. And so things like that has troubled a lot of our people that are in relationships. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I, I just, I'm not that typical person. Man. And being a creative, that. you need like that piece. Like, yes. I already have yes. 10,000 people in my head. Yes. I already got 10 million emails and phone calls. Yes. The last thing I need to do is get on my now. I, feel I like have a personal course for okay. a lot of relationships and the series. And of course, like I said, you know, I watch it. You know what I told you when I came in about the, the stuff. You don't know, so tell us. No, I'm finna, I'm, I'm finna get to it. <laughs> How does he feel about the sex scenes? Because if you watch The Mystery, mm -hmm. those are some. Sexy. You are very involved are in the mister, and, to, and for you to kind of be like the main character, mm -hmm. yeah, you're not, now that's a good question. I've always told myself in everything that I've done, whether it's been in business, management, whatever, that I can't ask or uh, tell my people to do what I'm not willing to do. So with my actors, um, like learning the lines, like I go on set and I know my lines, you know, stuff like that. And so I wanted to put myself out there because a lot of people are so like, I don't want to show nude or I don't want to do a sex scene or whatever. And so that's why I put myself out there. But he did not like any of that stuff. And he knew it was going to happen. So. Of course not. so let us know one more time where we can <clears throat> download or, or visit the site and subscribe to to get all this amazing content. AConnectionTV.com yeah. um, For the actors out there who would love to be uh, a part of your next project, how can they get into it? We have, actually, we have a huge audition. A lot of auditions, auditions happening this Wednesday for three shows. Um, so this Wednesday. This Wednesday. Oh, send it to yeah. us and we'll post it. That'll be what's up. Do um, I need to dress as my trans man? <laughs> no, Mr. <laughs> Granny, please. I, I, I will you I'm getting ready. To send your headshot <laughs> and uh, bio <laughs> or resume to letter <laughs> ACTV Castings with an S at gmail.com. ACTV Casting. What? No, it's just so okay. funny that you okay. said you want to be a trans man. man. <laughs> I just want to get casted. I don't want to offend anybody. I don't see you acting. 
Oh, no, I don't know. Have you ever had you, So you've acted? I have. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not as a trans man, but if you, <laughs> if you want to break me into this industry. Oh, my goodness. I can, I can, see, it. I can see it. So while uh, Ray uh, prepares for her trans man audition this weekend, make sure you guys are following Wes. Or, yes, this week. I apologize. Make sure you guys are following um, Wes at A Connection TV and Wes Photos and... All the million rest of all of them, Instagram. All of them. Make sure you guys subscribe, guys. Make sure you guys support our black people, our up and coming artists, our creatives. All right, guys, it's a wrap, and we getting ready to keep the show moving. We have an amazing guest coming up next. You already know we got Enrique Fan, the man with the plan in the building. Yeah. The country's cutie case in the building. Y'all already know it's your hottest entertainment host. It's your boy Q. Keep it locked. It's World Star Hit Radio at CelebrityMediaTV.com. Yeah.